Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and welcome to Travel and Live Free. In this video, we're going to cover my country number 72 to visit every single country in the world and that country is Ukraine. When I traveled to Hong Kong as part of my one year trip around the world, I met a Ukrainian guy by the name of Stanislav in a hostel that I was staying in. It was one of the more bad experiences that I had traveling to Hong Kong and by the time I got to my hostel in Hong Kong, I barely got any sleep. However, this bad turn of event turned out to be good because then I met this guy Stanislav who became my friend and invited me to come visit him. So fast forward several months after meeting him in Hong Kong, I was now in my European segment of my one year trip around the world and I was nearing the end of my trip. I then messaged Stanislav and I told him I was coming to Ukraine to visit him and by the time I arrived in Ukraine, he picked me up from the airport and we had a long walk to go back to his apartment. I also got a chance to meet his roommate and I slept in their kitchen actually, that's where they put a bed for me to sleep on and it was a very nice experience experience and very nice of him to let me stay in his place for two weeks. I got a chance to spend a lot of time in Ukraine actually. My first part of Ukraine was actually in Kiev and we spent a lot of time just walking around the city exploring the place. We also explored the nightlife and just walking around the city streets. I would say that the metro station in Ukraine was one of the craziest I've ever ridden. It is so crazy like when they drive. It almost feels like you're in a washing machine when you're taking the metro in Ukraine. Because I came to Ukraine a little bit last minute, we didn't get a chance to plan to go to Chernobyl. However, we did take a trip to a city called Lviv, which is on the western side of Ukraine. So we took a long train there and it was a pretty decent place to visit. We also got a chance to visit one of Stanislav's friends living in Lviv as well. And he showed us around as well and also told us a lot of racist jokes. He was so funny and inappropriate and some of the things that he said I can't even say in this camera because they were quite offensive. After a nice time exploring Lviv, the next destination was Odessa. So Stanislav told me, we're gonna take the long sleeper train from Lviv all the way to Odessa and you're gonna hate it. And I thought it was so funny that he said that I'm gonna hate it because apparently it's so terrible that it's such an awful experience, but it's very Ukrainian authentic and I need to do it. So we got on the sleeper train and yes, the lights were on the whole night. It's pretty crazy. And Stanislav had this like phone case that had a picture of someone that looks like Hitler. It wasn't Hitler, but it kind of looked like him. And when he had it on his table, a random woman in the night went up to his phone case and started pointing at it and said, no, 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 no. And I thought she meant like, no, that can't be in the train because that's racist. And it wasn't really Hitler, it just kind of looks like him. But actually what she meant was, don't put your phone there because someone might steal it. So it was quite a funny experience being on the train. Before long, we arrived in Odessa. We stayed in a hostel there. The hostels in Odessa was actually pretty good. Odessa was also really warm compared to Lviv and Kiev. And I think it's because it's by the Black Sea. The beaches in Odessa are actually not very nice at all. They're pretty dirty to be honest. So I wouldn't recommend going there at all. The city is actually much more interesting from my perspective. I know my friend Stanislav didn't care for it too much, but for me personally, I actually like Odessa more than I like Lviv. Before long, we left Lviv and we went back to Kiev on another long train. The train was pretty awful. We were all feeling like suffocating in the train because there was no air circulation happening. And I was just thinking to myself, you know what, I'm in Ukraine, I gotta roll with the punches. And this is just part of the travel experience in Ukraine. I spent a few more days in Ukraine. I even got my teeth clean in Ukraine because their dentist is so cheap and it's also pretty high tech actually. So just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's poor quality. I also got a haircut there and we had some wings and it was just a great time spending time in Ukraine. I invited my friend Stanislav to come visit me in Canada, but he hasn't gotten a chance to come here yet. So hopefully one day he would come visit here. And I would definitely love to visit my friend Stanislav in Ukraine again one day and obviously see Chernobyl with him. And he's definitely one of those people that I met during my one year trip who became a good friend of mine. And I think that's the beauty of travel is that you can make friends from all over the world. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. And don't forget to sign up to our Travel and Live Free newsletter where you can get a 10-step cheat sheet on how to travel around the world. You'll also get the latest tips and strategies on how to save money on travel for Canadians, how to go on around the world adventure travel for Canadians, and how to use travel to get more freedom in your life as a Canadian. You can sign up for that newsletter in the description below. Until next time, I'll see you then.